Hello. Today I'm going to be showing you guys this new Windows 8 app which is called the Windows 8 Store. So as you can see when it loads you can see a new section called Spotlight. This new section contains all the hot new apps. As you can see there's Skype, Network 10, this is in Australia but I'm not sure about other countries. So basically these are all the new apps that came out recently. Um, when you scroll down, or scroll to the left or right, um, you can see the game section. As you can see, a new app has been the Xbox app, which is very useful for Xbox users. You can also see some familiar apps such as the Riptide GP. If you're an Android user, like myself, you would be familiar with this game. There are also other new games, and they're also classified into areas such as, uh, sorry, categories such as top paid, top free, and new releases. Then we have the social apps. Social apps allow you to interact with friends and family. Um, a very important app here is StumbleUpon. You know that this has, well, most of you guys will know that this has been available for Android and Apple, but not for Windows. So StumbleUpon on Windows tablets as well as notebooks and PCs is very good. Next is Entertainment. A very good app is Fresh Pay. This has been a new app that Microsoft has launched in Windows 8. It is very useful if you want to paint stuff and it's like completely digital. You don't have to have any paint skills. Um, you can just start drawing and see what you, what happens with it and what you do and what you get. Um, then you have the photos. They have a whole new section dedicated just to photo apps. This is very good considering there's Instagram and stuff. So you can edit photos, resize, change color, add in effects, do whatever you want basically in the photo section. The next is music and video. A very, very, very good addition is the Shazam app. This has been available for Android and Apple for like, I don't know, years. But now it's finally on Windows. So instead of having to take your mobile phone and record a song, you can just take out your Windows 8 tablet or your Windows 8 computer and just record it and find out what song it is. Next is the sports section in this app store. A very good app is the ESPN Quick Info app. I, I personally find this very useful because I'm a cricket fan. I can easily keep updated on the cricket scores without having to watch a stream or go to Foxtel or turn on the TV because I'm really bored um, and lazy. Um, yeah, okay, you can also get more specified um, results like La Liga and Premier League. Next you have books and references. This is great because this app says is a Wikipedia, Wikipedia app, which means you don't have to manually go to, uh, to the internet and search for wiki articles, you can just type it in here, as well as the Kindle book app as well. Um, next we have news and weather. Um, we already have news and weather in the form of Bing in Windows 8, but if you want to get more specified apps such as Tech AU, News Bento, USA Today, Financial Times, ETC, you can have a look in here and see what you find. Next is health and fitness. There are a lot of health and fitness fans as well as food and dining applications and lifestyle as you can see this Oprah in here. Um, shopping. Shopping. There's a lot of good shopping apps in this store such as eBay and Amazon. I don't have to explain them. Everyone should be familiar with them. I hope. Um, next is travel. So you can use um, apps in here to book flights, keep track of flights, see if the flights are cancelled and stuff like that. Then you have finance. A great app is the Westpac app you can see on the screen. Um, there are other apps such as the Currency Converter. Um, you can have a look in there and see if you find any apps you like. Um, there's productivity apps as well such as OneNote, Package Tracker and a lot of other very useful apps. There's tool apps. These can be useful in, at times like the unit tool conversion and stuff. You can convert from meters to centimeters inches to centimeters without having to google everything it makes it easier and security this section is very important because these apps which um, help you with security issues um, make sure there are no viruses in your computer and stop prevent vi stop viruses from coming in and stuff like that then you have business apps in general as well as education a very good app i think here is the khan Ac academy one because this app can, without having to go on YouTube all the time, you can just go on here and type whatever you want, find the video you want, even if you're a university student or a high school student, it's easy as that. The next is the government, this is not really that important in my opinion, 
Um, you can just go in there and look information about governments. I wouldn't want to do that unless you do an assignment. Other than that, it is not really useful. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's basically a short review of the App Store for Windows 8. Um, a very good advantage is, I guess, um, it brings a lot of apps from Android and Apple into the Windows platform, which wasn't available before, so it's very good. Um, a little problem I've seen is that some of the apps are not very integrated into Windows, if you know what I mean, like, they're made for Android and stuff, but they're making good progress and in integrating them into Windows, which is good for future. Um, anyways, that's all I have to say. Um, if you like this video, like it, um, subscribe if you want, comment, whatever. Um, haters gonna hate. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.